Yes, one of the interesting things that we found is that people aren't necessarily flocking to the Internet to buy things. People are flocking to the Internet because they want to get, have customer service. They want to find out where a store is located. They want to get directions to the store. They want to find out the store hours. They want to be able to complain. And they also want to get a lot of information. Uh, the automobile companies, in, uh, for example, uh, have probably three quarters of shoppers go online, look at the features of the car. They can do 360s now. They can actually drive them, uh, do all kinds of tests, do comparisons in terms of prices. So that part of it is, is very exciting. But we, we shouldn't assume that people are going to shop in terms of buying online as much as has been predicted. It's going to be something that's part of a company's strategy that helps consumers in many ways, but there are going to be many people that are not going to buy online. They like to go into a store. They like to be able to pick up an item, to take it with them, to know that w when they get to holiday season, they're not buying five items, three of which arrive and two that don't arrive from online. They get them there. They get, if it's a toy, the child can play with it immediately. So there are, there are a lot of uh, upsides to online, but it's never going to be dominant in terms of revenue.